The 52MVA primary substation, which is located at Legon in Accra, forms part of the Ghana Power Compact 2 deal and that the electricity company of Ghana's financial and operational turnaround projects. The $11 million facility is to address the power supply challenges experienced by the University of Ghana Medical Center, Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research and other key institutions in the area. Uh, in all the things we do, power is very necessary. Um, if you look at the facility where, where potentially we have a thousand bed and 12 theaters with uh, ICU of 36, then it means we are going to offer the kind of services of critically ill patients or the aged or some kind of uh, patients referred to us who require some interventions. And um, even when people are dead, we need to keep them in the morgue. So in all cases, whether uh, dead or alive, I think energy is necessary. Uh, even though we have uh, generators to support us, sometimes the time, the turnaround time for generators to kickstart to support when lights are off. But with this, we are short of constant energy supply. Speaking at the inauguration of the project, a Deputy Minister of Energy, Mohammed Amin Adam, announced that the Kaswa box supply point had been completed pending commissioning in June to serve the power needs of residents of Kaswa and its environs. Besides the Pokwasi substation, which was inaugurated by the President in October last year, works have been completed on the Kaswa bulk supply point which is a 435 MVA capacity gas insulated sweet gear substation. The $50 million BSP project was also funded by the United States government under the Ghana Power Compact Program. With outstanding minor works, the project has been energized and is in operation, awaiting formal inauguration in June this year. The primary substation is expected to provide constant power supply to UG Medical Center as well as Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research and communities nearby. Reporting from Legon in Accra, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News.